Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pups here, welcome back to another brand new GTA video. In today's video, we are actually going to be talking about some great news regarding Grand Theft Auto, but also that Rockstar, uh, you know, boss has finally acknowledged the hashtag Save Red Dead online movement. We're going to be talking about what happened in yesterday's Take Two Interactive earnings call and so much more. So let's get right into today's video. So again, as I acknowledge in yesterday's video, Take Two Interactive that, you know, owns Rockstar Games, they had their physical earnings call yesterday on May 16th, where they actually go over, you know, their earnings about Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, all their Take Two games, all their 2K games, all their Rockstar games, and usually... Uh, before one of these calls, usually we get, you know, a major announcement. Again, that really didn't come uh, before this call. Basically, our major announcement that we got, we'll, you know, talk about later in today's video. But again, I'm going to, let's first talk about the Grand Theft Auto 5 news. Again, thank you to Ben or Videotech on Twitter and also the people in the GTA forum site that actually follow these calls live when they happen again in history of these physical calls i have only listened to one call again sometimes they can get boring but sometimes interesting hearing the voices behind Rockstar games but some good news about this Grand Theft Auto 5 has officially sold 165 million copies Again, that's adding an additional 5 million copies sold throughout the last quarter. So when they had this last call, again, they added 5 million copies to the list. Now, again, I'm not sure if these copies are editing from when GTA 5 Expanded Enhanced Edition of the game released back in March. Are these sales, you know, are they connected and somehow? Again, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they should be. Because they're talking about all Grand Theft Auto 5. They're not just talking about you know the standalone of G2 Online and etc. But that is great as well. Now talking about uh, Red Dead Redemption. They actually sold uh, additional 1 million units throughout the last quarter. And now topping 44 million copies sold in title. So that is great for a game that again I don't really play. I do own the game. I'm actually... You know, been busy doing YouTube and stuff like that. I never have beaten the game yet, and I'm not a person that's really into their Red Dead Redemption online. But again, that is cool for people that love this game as they are topping the charts once again. And this is another good game for Rockstar. Now, regarding their physical 2023 and physical 2025 pipeline details that I want to talk about next, this is pretty. Uh, how the pipeline works, if you haven't, you know, seen one of these videos before about their earnings calls, it's basically physical year, and that's basically talking about, uh, between, you know, next year in 2022 into 2023, and then 2024 into 2025. And between 2022 and 2024, Take-Two is set to ship out five newer iterations of previous release titles, and again, we can assume Max Payne remake titles are at least one of them. And again, looking at these images, folks, this is what we, uh, you know, do have. Again, Emitter Core titles, they have 24 titles. And titles announced to date that are coming out is the Quarry. It's a 2K game launching in June 10th. We have a Marvel Midnight Suns. We have Kerbal Space Program. It's a private division. And it also coming out is the popular games like NBA 2K23, the PGA Tour 2K23, and WWE 2K23. They're all launching in physical 2023, so probably next year in 2022 or at the end of this year. Now again, those games are the popular ones coming from the 2K series that uh, Take-Two Interactive owns as well. Independent titles, they have 10 coming. Mobile, 20, and we're going to be talking about one of those titles coming up. And we also have a mid-core title, which is coming from the Borderlands uh, series. It's called The New Tales. And new interiors of previous release titles, as I talked about before, are eight. Again, those some of those titles haven't been announced by Rockstar uh, yet. So again, we will have to stay tuned on that one. Now, some other good news is 
as some mobile ports, as we know, we are supposed to actually get the Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy for mobile actually released this year. Coming from this call yesterday, good news, this game has been pushed out another year, probably because Grocery Games needs further time to improve these titles with larger improvements to be Rockstar's standard of quality. So that is good. Now, we don't know if this game is going to be coming out in, you know, uh, 2022 it might come at the end of 2022 into 2023 again we are not sure but again we will just have to keep an eye on that something else that was actually talked about by straw Sonic, um ceo of take two interactive he actually did talk about the gta plus um how that was new and everything and apparently gta plus is going above ex expectations more than the community thought the community thought that this no one was really going to buy it. Again, they were actually taking um, protest when GTA Plus came out that you would not play GTA Online. But apparently it is doing good for Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive. So again, I guess that is good for a new subscription service that is behind a paywall. Also, Take-Two says GTA 5 and GTA Online grew about 8% and 74% since last year. I guess I, they're talking about the new uh, GTA Expand Enhanced titles. And the next-gen versions of the Expand Enhanced, meaning the standalone, was well-received by the community. So apparently a lot of people did buy these new installments to, you know, either A, they are on the Xbox Series X slash S and PlayStation, and they want that new content that is going to be coming out in the months to come and the years to come, and they want to be updated with the systems. So that is great. Now, actually, talking about Red Dead Redemption uh, series, again, I know I don't talk about a lot about Red Dead Redemption on my channel, but again, it is a Rockstar Games title. Now, remember that sa hashtag Save Red Dead Redemption um, 2 uh, movement that was happening on Twitter and all over social media? Because, again, it's been like over a year since Red Dead Redemption uh, Online has gotten an update. Well, great folks, Schroth Zelnick from Take Two Interactive does know about this frustration with the community. And basically he said this during the call. He says, hashtag say, save Red Dead Online has been continued across social channels like Twitter and Reddit since January of last year when Rockstar published an announcement of new content for Red Dead Online that the community felt largely in physically compared to much larger updates being pushed against the photo online. Since then, there's been a handful of other similar updates, but nothing large enough to quell the frustration fans who feel that Rockstar's abundant their beloved games to focus on much older, one that has already received years of major updates and attention. So apparently, Take Two Interactive and Rockstar are aware of this frustration with the uh, Red Dead Redemption fans out there not receiving a large update like Grand Theft Auto Online has been receiving now something else that happened as well uh when asked if take two in intended to continue to support red dead online long term uh Strauss zelnick confirmed that this was the plan he said uh post publication take two interactive reached out to clarify that this comment was solely referring to the online servers and that any future content updates would be up to rockstar so again whenever we're going to get an update for red dead redemption it should be coming from Rockstar Games, and we'll have to wait till that initial announcement comes. But apparently, they do want to uh, continue updating the online servers. I don't know why they have stopped, and it's been a year. Who knows what's behind the scenes if they're trying to focus on Grand Theft Auto Expand Enhance, and now they have time to work on Red Dead Redemption. Again, who knows? But again, this is basically all the bigger things that happened during the earnings call um, yesterday on May 16th. Again, if you are excited for more content, if you are a Red Dead Redemption fan, again, I want to hear you guys in those comments section down below. So, again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, like rating will be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Publishers channel for more videos like this. My name is Puppy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.